you were at number one. Woohoo! And we're almost back at the test center as well. How perfect is that? So this whole way through, we've been doing a test route, which is one of the most common test routes. That was a very strange sound. Uh, a Greenford driving test center, super important. So if you watch this whole series of the 10 most common reasons why people fail the driving test at any test center, you'll also see a complete driving test route at Greenford, which is, if you have been watching the videos, one of the most popular routes. And if you don't know it, you will fail your driving test at Greenford. I can pretty much say that with certainty. Right, number one reason why people fail their driving test. What is it? I don't know. Maybe you can tell me. Uh, that doesn't, it doesn't work like that, does it? My job is to help you and give you value and inform you. So the number one reason why people fail to just shut up, Scott, tell us. <laughs> so the number one reason why people fail the driving test is, you guessed it, junctions and observations. So the, the stats are that most accidents while driving will happen at a junction. Most of the time it's due to the fact that people haven't observed. So I've referred to peep and creep a few times throughout the series. And if you haven't seen the other videos, you'll see me mention it on those videos. Don't go and check those out yet. Do it after this. Okay, and peep and creep is a very effective way of doing your observations when you're at a closed junction. Full description of what that means, peep and creep and closed junction on the previous videos. So, here we go, observations. So giveaway lines there, right, left, right, minimum observations. If it's a closed junction, multiple observations. If you don't do your observations clearly and you just drive out over those giveaway lines, then you're not gonna see any potential other road users and there could be an accident, regardless of there being a vehicle there or not. So I'm gonna give you a couple of stories now. We're so close to the test center, so this will sum it up nicely. I had a gentleman, uh, Australian guy, he'd been driving all his life. He was roughly about 50 years old, and he failed at the very first junction coming out the test center because he didn't take effective observations, drove out, and a vehicle came from the left. Another story now, I had two younger gentlemen and they were, let's say they were teenagers, okay? And this was actually at Greenford Driving Test Center. So the examiner said, oh, they got to the roundabout, they looked right and then left and just drove out, but they didn't look right again. This happened twice at the same test center, um, not the same examiner, okay? And they failed them because they didn't look right, left, right again and double check for mainly motorbikes, okay, but any other road users. And they got a serious fault and they failed. And the, the examiner said, oh, there was no one there. There was no one there. Just didn't look again. Okay, so <laughs> there you go. Number one reason why people fail their driving test. So guys, uh, I hope this video has been informative. I'm gonna take the next uh, junction, which is around about left, and that takes me back onto Robin Hood Way, which is the driving test center. That road is a bit of a narrow road, so do take it nice and slow. So when you're back at your driving test center, the test isn't over until you switch off the engine. So I hope it's been informative, it's been a nice ride, beautiful sunny day, and I'm gonna go get a nice, cool, refreshing drink. And I'll see you at the next feature video, which is just here. So if you wanna go check that out, why don't you tap the likey card? I'm gonna call my likey card. All right, see you later. <laughs>